inclusive education means many things to different people. Um, and as I've said this morning, it's, um, it's got diverse meet meanings. Although it's in, um, in the legislation, we actually are not in complete agreement among universities. We've got very different approaches to what we take as inclusive education. I find that teachers, if I ask them, walk into a school and I ask teachers, tell me, what do you think inclusive education is? They say, oh, it's based on our constitution. Uh, part of the Bill of Human Rights is the fact that we must acknowledge people's uh, rights to education. And that is what inclusive education is all about, to develop a, a quality education system uh, for South Africa and focus on the needs of every single child um, in classrooms and schools. We come from very different theoretical backgrounds, very different disciplinary backgrounds, and I think how that's going to work out in our classrooms and our staff rooms across the country is something that, that needs a lot, of, a lot of attention. There are provinces that are actually well resourced, and there are those that are really struggling and therefore are not making much progress in, in developing an inclusive system. Teachers report in research that we have done that they are struggling with the many learners of, uh, with barriers to learning that they have in their classrooms. They do not have resources, they do not have enough learning material, they are not adequately trained, there are no support services um, and the challenges of a lot of behaviour problems in the classroom are just too overwhelming for them um, to be able to look at the individual need of a learner. Can teachers, typical teachers, teachers who are educated to kind of teach in the typical classrooms, is it possible for them to learn strategies and designs for education that actually accommodate the participation and the opportunity for learn for kids with variants? And for us, it's this ideal. It's the ideal of including, accepting. It's seen as a tool to extend our understanding of what democracy really means. Does it actually work and produce better results for children with difference? Does it do anything that would make the educational experience of typical kids any less? And is it possible to help general education teachers design learning environments that fit many, many more kinds of children and we know from research that this is actually possible. All of these things are, um, uh, show good, really good results. The scenario is that in terms of initial teacher education, legislation does require that all um, higher education institutions that uh, offer initial teacher education must include inclusive education in their offerings and graduates have to understand inclusive education and be able to identify and address barriers to learning. When students with disabilities or students with other kinds of differences are educated in classrooms with typical children, they actually, over time, their outcomes for graduation and post-secondary living are much better than for those students who remain in separate and segregated um, facilities and classrooms. What I do think is far more um, promising is the work that's being done as teachers are getting together in communities of practice, professional learning communities. They are engaging with new knowledge. They're holding them, uh, each other accountable for improvements in their practice. And as a department, what we've done is we've just completed um, the, uh, the development of a funding model which will then be used across all nine provinces that will have to follow the same funding model so that we begin to close the gaps uh, between those provinces that have access to resources and those that are struggling with resources. These are real problems, authentic problems that you get young children and middle school students and high school students working on. It changes their capacity to understand how to communicate with one another and to become part of a collaborative learning group. Because what I think we're really needing to be aiming towards is teachers not seeing that being inclusive is something in addition to what they do, but is just a regular part of what good teaching is. So that's what I think it is.